Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's Corner. <laughs> hey, welcome to Craig's Corner for Wednesday, October 3rd. I almost said August, but October 3rd, 2012. I guess my mind is a couple of months behind. Um, today, we've got a question that came in regarding uh, using a TCH device as, as an audio device in Windows 7 and that it seems to load the drivers and then the device doesn't seem to exist. You know, what's going on? Uh, the the um, answer to it is actually pretty simple and kind of strange from Windows perspective, but what happens is it will load a new device for you. Um, it'll enable the drivers and all that kind of stuff, but it won't actually enable the device as an audio device. I have no idea why you'd think it would do that, but it just doesn't. So the workaround for this is that you, uh, I'm and it'll be looking down as I guide you through the process here. Uh, click on your start menu, click on control panel. Then you're going to want to click on hardware and sound. And then third down on the list when that menu opens up is going to be sound. And there's manage audio devices over on the right hand side. So click that and it will pop up a uh, little control panel. Just going to wait for it to come up here. There we go. Now you're going to see four tabs. You're going to see playback, recording, sounds, and communication. What you're going to want to deal with is in the playback tab and the recording tab. So in the playback tab, you're going to see analog connector. You're going to want to click on it and then click on properties down in the bottom right. When that pops up, at the very bottom, there's a thing that says device usage. And you'll notice that it says, do not use this device or don't use this device, brackets, disable. You're going to want to switch that to use this device, enable, and then click apply. Once that's done, click on the recording tab, find the same analog connector and go through the same process. Click on properties, click on don't use this device, change it to use this device, click on apply, click on OK. Now what that'll do is it will enable your device as an audio device and it should now in your recording software and other you know computer uh, connected software that you're using should show up as an audio device and you should be able to use it. So it's just a little bit of a strange hurdle that sometimes people um, you know are, are, are kind of running into and not knowing how to get over. It's just I have no idea why Windows does that but it does so there's your workaround. Keep on sending in those Craig Corner questions and we'll talk to you soon.